Bruce Willis's diagnosis with a rare brain disease has left millions worried for him. People have been accusing his much younger wife, Emma, of taking advantage of his illness. There are even reports that Bruce's will was changed just days before his diagnosis, leaving his daughters with Demi Moore with almost nothing. Bruce and Demi always seemed like the perfect exes, but Bruce actually cut off contact with her for years after marrying Emma. Took the higher road and our children are much better for it. Now Demi's back in the picture. But I just knew that that's where I was supposed to be. But Emma's reportedly threatened by their close relationship. I know how much you love my husband. Just keep your space. Why would Emma be so worried about having Demi around Bruce? Did you ever think you would get married? Not for a long time. The day before I met my wife, I, I didn't want to get married. And I met her and I was just knocked out by her, you know, I really fell in love right away. I knew the night that I met her that I was going to marry her. What did your intuition say to you about Bruce? Bruce and I met, were married, and pregnant in four months. Then you and Bruce Willis were destined to be together. I guess so. On the outside, Bruce and Demi seem like the perfect family. Why do you think he's going to be a good dad? Because he's generous, and he's warm, and he wants it. When you're responsible for a little baby, it just completely changes you. Being a mother felt totally natural. Bruce Willis and Demi have lived a fairy tale life. They've even managed to raise three young daughters. But Bruce and Demi wanted different things, and it was pulling them apart. Bruce Willis vows, the kids come first. This is never going to work. If you're off shooting a film, what he meant was that our life wouldn't work if I was engrossed in something outside of our family. Demi describes Bruce as being, quote, tormented by his ambivalence about being married. I'm not gonna sit here and say, we don't fight, we are human. We go up and down like all people. I always maintained a kind of emotional buffer, like a moat around a castle, so that I wouldn't be dependent on him. Do you still like me? Yeah. Good. I just didn't buy the you're the king kind of thing, which he thrived on. Hollywood power couple Bruce Willis and Demi Moore have decided to end their 11-year marriage. Demi and Bruce swore that they wouldn't put anything ahead of their kids, and they succeeded for a while. But then, Demi started dating Ashton Kutcher. When I met Ashton, it almost felt like a do-over, like I could just go back in time and experience what it was like to be young with him. From the jump, the media was brutal, calling Demi a cougar who was having a midlife crisis. But when Bruce married a Victoria's Secret model who was 23 years younger than him, the media embraced his perfect new family. For years, Bruce Willis vowed he'd never marry again. Then the movie star met sizzling Emma Hemming, and she changed his mind and his life. Bruce Willis and Emma Hemming welcomed their first child. You look well slept. Changing diapers like a champ. How is Bruce as a father? He's a wonderful father. How is he as a husband? He's great. <laughs> but for Demi, it wasn't so easy. When I found myself engaged to my soulmate and expecting his child at 42, I felt like the luckiest girl in the world. Almost six months into my pregnancy, right at the moment when we were going to start telling everyone, we went to the doctor's office. And you said you will never forget the look on the doctor's face. You could see his dread because it was unquestionable, because there was no heartbeat. The guilt that I felt that it was clearly my fault was just enormous. Demi couldn't handle that she couldn't have another baby at age 42. I really lost sight of everything that was right in front of me, which is the family I had. You had always chosen us. You had always put us first. But when she wanted to have another baby, and then there was so much focus on that, it was like, oh, well, we're not enough. And Ashton was handling his grief in a very different way. Ashton Kutcher caught cheating the night before his and Demi's wedding anniversary. You got a Google alert? Yes. What did you say to him? I asked if it was true, and he admitted it right away. I felt like I could barely take a breath. So then that's when the relapse happened. Yeah, so I opened that door to drinking after almost 20 years. I wanted to be something other than who I am. Demi tried to drown her pain instead of facing it. But just two months later, a leaked 911 call blew everything up. Is an ambulance on the way? Is she breathing normally? No, um, no not so normal, but um, more sort of shaking. Everyone else was witnessing my body flailing. My daughter terrified that she was going to see me die right in front of her. I was there in the other room with 911, panicking. And I took her to rehab on the plane, which was the scariest thing I've ever had to do in my life. As Demi refused to take responsibility for herself, Bruce and their daughters had to cut her off. 
Can you explain why you guys weren't talking to your mom for three years? And I just knew that I was scared mm. and that she was unsafe. It was like the sun went down and like, like, a, like a monster came. You called going away to treatment camp. It was not the mom that we had grown exactly. up with. Exactly. I felt villainized by my family. I was angry that my girls weren't showing me any compassion and that Bruce refused to intercede. More kids? Oh, well, Ava Ray's only six weeks old. Different from the last three? To me, it's being very needy, and the girls are tired of it. They want a mother, not a little sister. The girls have cut off all contact with Demi. Demi was living her worst nightmare, putting her daughters through the same thing her mom had done to her. Her mother and father both battle alcoholism. She's 12 when her mother first attempts suicide. I remember using my fingers, the small fingers of a child, to dig the pills my mother had tried to swallow out of her mouth. And it wasn't the last time. No, there was many, many times. You said your childhood was done. Being a mom was the one thing I felt sure I was truly successful at in life. But how successful could I be when not one of my children would speak to me? I knew I had a choice. I could die alone, or I could really ask, how did I get here? And have the courage to face the answers. I really had to first do a lot of, of healing and exploration through myself. I was always just trying to keep going and prove that it was okay that I was here, that it was worth me being born. And there's no way that you can stop and be present and really experience life when you're running in a way that's a fear. Demi was finally the version of herself that Bruce and their daughters saw all along. You said that Demi has helped you to be a more caring, loving individual. Mm -hmm. What has she done for you? Being the kind of tough guy that I am, you know, you never want to tell anyone that you're afraid of what is happening in your life. You're never really in the moment. Yeah. And my wife has really helped me to learn how to be in the moment. My phone rang and it was Bruce. He got very emotional and he said, I'm so proud of you. Demi's family seemed stronger than ever until a diagnosis no one saw coming. I have another 25 years of these die hard films in me, but it's not quite time to pass the baton. One of Hollywood's toughest heroes is facing a battle for his own health now. It's called the cruelest disease you never heard of. Bruce Willis has gone public with his diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia. But as Bruce's family spoke out for him, Emma was facing the kind of public criticism she'd never had before. I just saw something about me getting my five minutes, which is great, which means that you're listening. So I'm gonna take my five minutes and I'm gonna turn it into 10. I have started the morning by crying. <laughs> People always tell me that, oh, like you're so strong. I don't know how you do it. She's such a drama queen. She is starting to get annoying with her victim attitude. When you marry an old man decades older than you are, that's what you sign up for. There were even reports that Bruce's will had been changed just days before his diagnosis. But when Bruce and Demi were spotted together again, it contradicted the media's story. Are Bruce and Demi back together? A source told Radar Online, Demi has moved in and she is not leaving until the very end. But fans have been wondering, where's Bruce's current wife, Emma Hemming? The exes are isolating with their three kids in Idaho, but Bruce's wife, Emma, is back in LA with their two kids. Bruce Willis's wife, Emma Hemming, slams dumb rumor about Demi Moore moving in. But Demi had been through it before, so she stepped up for Emma and set the record straight. Bruce came and spent time with us and then his current wife and their small daughters joined a little bit later when the kids were finished school. Demi Moore is paying tribute to Emma Hemming Willis. We are mothers united, sisters bonded. Emma is a beautiful mother dedicated to her family. Our family, regardless of what the shape of it is, it's important to keep together. Now, Demi is there for Bruce and their blended family when they need her the most. We were both able to find a way to share it and be a family in a different form. We had three gorgeous kids that we still raise together. Rumor Willis announced that she's expecting a baby. Compared to raising children, everything else in the world is just stupid. It really puts it in great perspective. He was like, so I'd like for you to have a son because I need some male energy in this group. It's a lot of women, obviously. He has five daughters. Rumor Willis has welcomed a baby girl, Luetta, making Bruce Willis and Demi Moore first-time grandparents. What's your prayer for them and to them? My hope is that in understanding me, that they would better understand themselves and love themselves. We all suffer and we all triumph. 
and we all get to choose how we hold both.